I got off by the statue of King Val. Downtown was busy. I stopped started excusing myself to citizens and local tourists, unseeing others with care, till I reached the blocky concrete of ECS Center. I stood on the steps and looked down Oropestras. The majority of the beige men and women were doing nothing but walking from one place to another, from late shift work, from homes to other homes or shops. It was, not surprisingly, that day, perhaps, hard to observe borders, to see and unsee only what I should on my way home. I was hemmed in by people, not in my city, walking slowly through areas crowded, but not crowded in Bejo. I focused on the stones really around me, cathedrals, bars, the brick flourishes of what had been a school that I'd grown up with. I ignored the rest, or tried. In the morning, trains ran on a raised line meters from my window. They were not in my city. I did not, of course, but I could have stared into the carriages. They were quite that close and caught the eyes of foreign travelers. Her father had told her to shut her eyes and had taken her to a distant realm. When she opened her eyes in that realm, she found herself in a familiar world. Look at the people, her father had said. 
She looked and saw people that she knew. People in the streets, people at work, men directing traffic, women drilling at the sides of roads, the newspaper vendors and the market traders. They were all asleep. They slept while doing their jobs. They worked efficiently. Everywhere this was true. brought her back to this world, she was overcome with curiosity. She went about with her father and she looked at people. She looked, she looked at everything. She noticed for the first time that everything was the opposite of what she had been taught, the opposite of what she had seen before. She wanted to tell her father that she had seen people who were asleep in their beds but who were wandering around. She had seen people who were wandering about but who were asleep. She wanted to say that she thought that walls and trees and houses and the earth and cars were all solid, but they were all shadows and they were all made of millions of little dots. <laughs> 